If you spend some time on YouTube, then you actually might know Alex Steele's channel. Alex Steele is an awesome blacksmith. He creates ridiculously awesome things like Damascus steel knives, swords, axes, and you name it. I don't know what else he already made. And this year he made something which really caught my interest. It was a Swihander. A Swihander is a hand, you name it for two hands, and is so enormous big that I thought, can this be 3D printed? To answer this question, I redesigned the sword he made in Fusion 360, made it 3D compatible and printed it out. If you're wondering how to do that, let's jump first into Fusion 360 and check out the 3D files. By the way, the first step to actually design these files in Fusion 360 or in any program is to get some reference images. So let's go and check out the listing and then check out the 3D files. Here is the actual listing of the Swihander on the Alex Steel shop. And you can see the price tag of this awesome handmade ginormous piece. It's over 1.5 meters long and the blade itself is over one meter long, which is really crazy. I highly recommend checking out the video series of the Swihander. It's also really funny and um, yeah, really interesting how they made it. You can see some pictures here. The Damascus pattern is really crazy. And I used some reference images from here and for the video and imported them the Fusion 360. And these are actually the final files um, I made. The process was really tedious to coming so close to the original design, but I had to make some adjustments for printability, of course, otherwise it would look not so good. The files are optimized for a printer with a Z height of over 300 millimeters, so like the Atelier Sidewinder X1. So it can print some of these pieces standing up in one piece, which is really awesome. I was not so confident about these contact points where I had split the parts and only gluing them together probably wouldn't be the best because it would break at some point because the sword is so really long. So I made some cutouts to insert some steel rods to give the sword more stability. You have one, two, three blade pieces, then the second grip piece, I don't know how this is called. Then you have the guard piece, which consists of uh, this part, the guard ring, and then you have two longer pieces, which can also be printed upright in one single part, this one and this one. And then you have these guard balls and some really small pins here, and then the grip and the pommel on the end. Yeah quite tedious process, but it was fun building this. And the next step is 3D printing and then cutting the metal rods. Here you can see all the pieces printed out on the artillery sign binder. Some pieces are fairly good, some pieces have minor issues as I had some issues with the sign binder X1. You can check out the review about the sign binder on my channel if you're curious what was going on with the printer. But nonetheless, I'm quite satisfied with how these prints look. They were all printed in patchy. This one is filament one, Pegi Pro Select. This is Eson Pegi Black. And this is Dust Filament Pegi. These prints are really hard to print. They have a really small footprint and start to wobble around because they are just so tall. So you have some layer inconsistencies on this print. I hope you can actually see this. And as these prints took quite some time 
and I continuously print it with this material. I actually have one print which is really really furry and fuzzy because the PEG is hydroscopic so it takes up um, water from the air and then your pins look like garbage basically. So this one is a throwaway piece and these are all the pieces you need for this build. Let's actually start to assemble these pieces and I will show you how to do that. I will be using two different glues. The first one is of course super glue for the smaller pieces and for all the connection pieces and for the metal I will be using a two component glue. This will have about one to two days curing time. So after gluing everything together and clamping it down we will have to wait for the final result. I can't really fit the whole sword on the screen so I will try to keep the assembly in this uh, region here so you can actually see that It now is four days later and everything has been glued together. Now just a little finishing touch, insert the screw and the sword is ready. This is the final result. The sword is so huge, it's really beyond what I was thinking of. Seeing all the small parts, I was like, oh, it's still small, but just look at how huge it is, really. I'm 1 meter 82 centimeters, and if I put it on the ground, you can see it almost reaches my nose. This is just so huge. I cannot really imagine how somebody would even fight with this sword. It's just so big I, I cannot even swing around because above here is already the ceiling. It's just, it's really enormous. I really like it. I, I like the design. I didn't put anything leathery about, uh, around the handle or around the second spiky handle thing um, as Alec did. I just printed it in a dark color so it will look alike. It was a really simple project but also kind of a proof of concept if such a thing can actually work. It's, it's amazing, it's really amazing. So what are my biggest takeaways? Well, um, using two component glue, metal rods and plastic parts actually works even with this um, yeah, length of the sword. It's kind of flexible. I don't hear any cracking, any splitting or, or something. I can imagine if there would be a paint coat on it, 
then the paint wouldn't be too flexible. So this wouldn't work as well as a simple 3D printed part. But so far I'm really confident that this thing actually won't break. Another point is that although the handle looks really cool and really clean in one piece, I wouldn't print out the blade pieces in so few pieces. I would actually make more pieces because the print quality became significantly worse the higher the print got, as already mentioned. So these are kind of the takeaways, my experience which I gained during this build, but just look at just look at that how huge it is it's really cool now i will have to find a way how to mount it on my sword wall and just as dimension comparison this is the witcher sword and this is the the swihander <laughs> look at that it's almost as big as only the blade it's really crazy man it's so crazy yeah but a good addition to my wall as said I really like it and if you liked it too then I would gladly appreciate if you leave me a thumbs up leave me a comment in the comment section below if you have anything to add to this project if you want to have the files also let me know in the comment section below then I will upload them if anybody needs them and that's it for today I want to thank you for watching have a nice day and goodbye.